Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm gonna show you guys a quick demonstration on basic relay testing. Pretty much this relay is out of a Mercedes S500 that's slammed all the way down to the ground. The air compressor is not engaging. And um, pretty much what we're looking at is a four pin relay. There's your diagram. Pretty much this is what you guys need to know is that on a basic relay, 85 to 86 is usually your coil and 30 to 87 or 30 to 87A is usually the switched side. So pretty much what happens is you energize the coil on 85 to 86, you'll close the contacts, sending power from 30 to 87. So pretty much what we've done is we've got two jumper leads, one hooked up straight to the ground, the battery, the green one here, which is the one we're going to be using to toggle on our power. If you don't want to hook up to the battery because we're just going to be tapping that into the battery to turn it on and off. And we have a voltmeter set up to continuity, a little button so it makes a noise when we have continuity. And what's going to happen is we're going to energize 86 and 85 and we should have continuity between 30 and 87. So I have actually dismantled this relay and took it all the way apart to look inside and what I found is where the little switch contact is. There was actually a bunch of little build up and debris that I cleaned off. But um, for a quick demonstration, so here's our lead, it's on the battery. You can hear it clicking over. You can also hear the continuity tester or bolt meter. So now we have continuity. So we just want to click it a few times to make sure that uh, it doesn't just uh, not make contact. That's pretty straightforward and simple. So we're going to take this thing apart real quick while we're testing. And then you're also going to want to test the coil side of it. This is what the inside of the relay looks like. And let's see if I can show you here. This right here there's a little tiny contact that that opens and closes in the magnetic field and these contact on the inside all you gotta do if you're in a situation where you can't buy a relay a little piece right here in the back comes off let me show you guys just like so so it came off there and you can actually you can actually pop out this whole little side here. Okay, I'll be back shortly. Yeah, for sure. I'm making it. I'm gonna leave you with the burden, but just to keep people out of the house. Mm -hmm. you, or you know what to do. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Alright, Jerry. That's it. Sorry about that. And I'm gonna take off the little arm. Are we ready? For sure. There's a little contact point that when it's switched, it actually makes contact right. So I'm gonna focus on that. Closer comfort. Contact right there. Other side of the little pin. Your contact inside. And pretty much just want to make sure that those are not all burned up. What I found was there's a little bit of pitting and a little bit of like ash buildup or crust. We just cleaned it up and I tested it again and it's actually working. So if you guys are in a situation where the relay goes out and you're in an emergency, pop off the little cap off of it this guy right there it's got like four little tabs on the underside just use like a little flathead screwdriver pop it off took apart the relay cleaned it up and uh made sure it was making contact i kind of rebent the arm a little bit a little bit closer so it's easy a little more easily for it to connect so all right guys this is some basic relay testing on a four terminal relay or four pin relay and this is actually out of a mercedes but they're also in all kinds of different cars so if you guys need any help with that it's pretty straightforward just uh look at the video all right guys later